Uh, also, a uh, warm welcome uh, from my end uh, from a uh, sunny Darmstadt. Uh, so as uh, Georgie already mentioned, we are moving a little bit uh, to the west uh, and to the north in our journey today. So Darmstadt is uh, very uh, centrally in uh, Germany, located close to uh, Frankfurt. It's uh, one of the big rural areas like uh, Stuttgart, which uh, basically means uh, a very international area, very many jobs and similar. So what can you, can you expect uh, from my side over the next uh, few minutes? Uh, we will give you a short overview of the uh, program and I will also try to, to explain a little bit uh, what, what makes us, uh, well, kind of uh, special or unique. Uh, then I will uh, give you an overview into the uh, four majors we are offering in our pro uh, program. Of course, I cannot go into every detail, but at least uh, you will understand like, like uh, the broadness of what, of what we have. And of course, if you're interested in uh, certain special aspects, uh, you will get my contact data afterwards. And I will be happy to answer any kind of uh, questions. And then uh, one aspect which also might be interesting for you is uh, how does the application process work? What is the timeline? And similar. So let's uh, look a little bit uh, into uh, our master program. Our master program is uh, celebrating its uh, 25th anniversary this uh, year. So we are probably one of the oldest, if not the oldest uh, international master in Germany founded in 1998, which also means that uh, we have 25 years of experience of running an international program. And we are really proud to say that by now we have a, a very, very uh, international community of alumni uh, of uh, young uh, students, of young engineers who have uh, studied here. And uh, well, in, in February, uh, we have uh, uh, visited the uh, Embedded World uh, Fair, one of the biggest fairs in, in embedded electronics in Germany. And I uh, created a tour where we visited all the companies uh, where former students of us uh, were working. And it was an amazingly long fair. So what is uh, special about our program? Well, first of all, like the other programs, all the lectures are held in English. Uh, although uh, also like uh, Stuttgart and, and uh, Regensburg, we feel that German knowledge is very important. So there are mandatory German language courses, so which are part of the program. You have to reach at least a level of A2. We uh, recommend to go up to the level of uh, B1, B2, because this will definitely uh, increase uh, the chances of finding a job. Uh, afterwards. We have a very strong industrial focus. So half of the program, um, which uh, is a four year program, so a uh, four semester, two year program, uh, two semesters, one year you will spend in industry as an internship and afterwards uh, in, in a master thesis. So uh, this is actually a very smooth uh, transition into uh, working in Germany afterwards, which is something uh, which is done by uh, around about 80% of our graduates. Our program is uh, free of tuition fees, uh, like most of the uh, public uh, programs in Germany. But uh, as you will see later, there are certain fees for, for some special services we are offering. Um, but uh, this is something I will show at the end. The key idea, although uh, you can also continue with the PhD uh, program uh, afterwards, uh, because it's a Master of Science, but the key idea and the key goal of our program is to clearly uh, pave the path into an industrial career afterwards. So uh, this is a very short uh, view on our campus. Uh, we are located uh, in the center of uh, Darmstadt, very close to the station. So you actually can see the station up here. And all this is the campus. Uh, we have uh, two other areas, uh, one in Darmstadt, one in Viborg. We have round about 18,000 uh, students, uh, which makes us one of the largest um, universities of applied science in uh, Germany. And uh, we have, uh, I think by now, around about four or five uh, completely international programs. Uh, so you will see a lot of international students on our campus. Uh, I would say probably in a very similar way, like what you have heard from Stuttgart. The program structure is uh, pretty special in that sense that we are not creating too many specialities. So we offer a very broad um, area of uh, studies. So uh, the uh, majors we are offering are four majors, automation, communication, embedded, and power. So this is more or less, uh, uh, well, reaching around the complete uh, area of electrical engineering. Um, the program is a four semester program. As I mentioned before, uh, you will be two semesters at the university, followed by an internship in a company to also sniff a little bit the air of how industrial work in, in Germany is working. 
And then afterwards, usually in the same company, you conduct your master's thesis, and then very often afterwards in the same company, you start working. So let's dive a little bit uh, into the uh, uh, four programs. Uh, starting with uh, automation. Automation is, is actually providing two, uh, let's say, uh, main headlights. Uh, one is the area of advanced uh, automation uh, dealing with IoT, industrial IoT, safety industrial um, systems, flexible automation, so state-of-the-art factory planning, let's call it like that. And the other uh, major or, or internal focus of this program is the robotics, uh, computer vision and similar. In all our programs, you will find a pretty strong part of uh, programming. So in, in this case, we will have the advanced programming techniques as one programming um, subject. And of course, in the electives, we are offering three electives per major. Uh, you can either dive a little bit deeper into some uh, selected topics of this major. You can take other programming subjects. You can also take some electives from other, other majors. This is a little bit up to you. Every major will have a project management and engineering responsibility lecture in the winter semester, which is uh, well providing a pretty good training uh, also for technical management uh, positions uh, afterwards and a team project, uh, which is uh, preparing you a little bit also for the uh, work in industry in the uh, third semester, which is then followed by the master module in semester four. In communication, uh, we have a very strong focus on uh, mobile communications. So uh, we have uh, very advanced labs on uh, 5G technology and similar. Also here, program plays an important role, but also other aspects like hardware design, PCB design, FPGA programming, and similar. In embedded, uh, we have uh, two main uh, areas which are covered. One is the embedded software architecture and application area. So anything related to operating systems, to safety in, in embedded applications, et cetera, is covered here. And the second uh, focus is uh, board design, FPGA programming. So really the key uh, technology. Similar setup here with project management and team project. This is the same for all the majors as well as the internship and the master thesis. Power, the uh, fourth, last but not least uh, major, is uh, also having uh, two internal focus points. One is uh, power production and distribution. So here, obviously, the uh, area of renewable energies, but also power distribution, control theory in, in power distribution is, is one of the main uh, areas of interest. And uh, the second area, which is also very popular among the students, is uh, anything around, let's say, e-mobility. Uh, we have an automotive uh, electronics lab here. Uh, we have an own uh, electronic uh, motorcycle. You can see it here in the picture up here where international teams uh, are working on. So on campus, there are a lot of, uh, well, pretty challenging and very interesting projects uh, where you can not only work together with the students from other majors inside electrical engineering, but you will also get in contact with the students from business administration, from uh, mechanical engineering, et cetera, et cetera. Well, what else do we offer? Um, we have a, a very strong focus on pre-semester uh, courses because we have learned over the last couple of years that uh, people coming from different international universities usually have a pretty, well, different background uh, in, in, in engineering. Uh, and especially uh, over the last uh, well, two years uh, with the Corona crisis, uh, we see that uh, the gaps uh, are growing. So it's actually more challenging for students to, to enter the uh, German university uh, system. So what we are doing, we are spending the complete month of September with uh, pre-semester classes, technical courses, German classes, but also very nice excursions into the environment. Uh, we will have one trip uh, to Heidelberg, showing you a little, little bit uh, how uh, Germany in the medieval uh, ages, uh, um, well, grew up. Uh, we will visit the oldest university uh, in Heidelberg, uh, which uh, is, has been founded in the 13th century. And we will have another trip uh, to Bonn, to the House of History, to also give you a little bit of background of what is going on in Germany. We have a lot of career fairs, both on campus and in Darmstadt, um, where companies are presenting their um, job offerings, uh, internship offerings, master thesis offerings, 
local companies, but also um, German wide companies and, and even international companies are, are joining that more and more. Uh, you will uh, attend a couple of intercultural trainings again uh, to, to allow you to uh, well get acquainted uh, with the uh, German culture and, and to understand what the professors is saying and is not saying. Uh, these uh, intercultural trainings are very interactive. They're a lot of fun. And I think uh, they, they definitely smoothen a little bit the uh, entering the German education market. As I said, uh, German classes are a mandatory part of the program. We feel that this is very, very important. And then we are putting a lot of money into that to really uh, get you on the level of at least uh, A2. But by now, most of our students are reaching the level of B1, B2, which is uh, drastically improving your job capabilities afterwards. What other services uh, do we offer? We offer a lot of services both uh, before the study and uh, during your study. So before the study, uh, we have a lot of uh, online meetings. We have uh, student guides, so senior students who are supporting you and uh, who are answering all your questions. We are offering an accommodation service. So this is, I think, something pretty unique uh, because finding an accommodation from a foreign country in Germany, especially in large cities, is very challenging. So we have a uh, pretty large number of apartments which are reserved for our master program. And you actually can get a room through our services, uh, both from the Studierendenberg and from a private um, rental uh, agency. We will offer you arrival services. So our students guides are going to pick you up from the airport. They make sure that you enter the right apartment. They will accompany you to the university during the first days and make sure that everything is running as smoothly as possible. During your studies, we have a lot of friendly uh, ladies and gentlemen from the Student Service Center, uh, Sabine, myself, who are there to help you in any kind of uh, questions. We also support you in case uh, problems with the visa are popping up. I think this is, uh, especially in India with the new APS certificate, a, a big uh, problem at the moment. And you will also get uh, trainings and support in finding internships and uh, master thesis in industry and through the career center also in finding a job afterwards. So the application process, how does it work? Well, first of all, um, our program is extremely attractive for students. Uh, we have, uh, these are not the latest numbers, uh, but uh, we have around about uh, one and a half thousand uh, applicants every year. Um, shortly before Corona, this number went up to 2000 applications a year. And out of these uh, 2000 applications, we are selecting around about 250 students uh, to offer them a, a seat. And out of this uh, 250 uh, students, we typically have around about 125 who are joining the program every year, plus uh, a certain number of German students, typically around uh, 25 up to 50 German students who are attending the, the, the program in addition. So you can roughly calculate that you will have a classroom size per major of 30 to 35 uh, students. How are we selecting the students? It's not only a, a let's say, marking uh, topic because uh, marks are different in different countries. So uh, we have actually a board of professors who is individual checking every application we are receiving. Of course, the technical qualification is the most important aspect, but also country, country profile and social aspects are important uh, assets uh, when we are selecting our students. So for example, this year we have uh, um, given access uh, to many students coming from Iran because the situation is pretty bad over there. Uh, in former years, we have supported students from Venezuela, uh, from uh, Iraq, uh, from uh, Syria, and other countries. What do you need to apply? You need a bachelor degree in electrical engineering or equivalent. Equivalent is basically decided by the board. So if you are unsure, simply apply, and then we will check it. Uh, we are expecting an excellent transcript of records. So your mark should be somewhere in the area of at least 70, preferably even 80%, uh, because there is a very strong competition in getting a seat in our program. We need a um, English certificate, uh, yields 6.5 or TOEFL internet-based score of 88. Uh, like in the other programs, working experience uh, is ex uh, appreciated and also German skills are appreciated, but certainly not mandatory. 
The application is uh, going through our own portal, so uh, you don't have to go through UniAssist in addition, which is uh, making the application a little bit faster. And uh, especially if you're applying early, you will get a very early feedback. The application is completely free of charge. Um, but uh, once uh, we are offering a seat uh, and, and when you are accepting it, uh, some small charges are being required. Well, this is uh, showing a little bit uh, the timeline of our process. So admission is only possible for the winter semester. Uh, the application is uh, starting in December. Um, so similar also to Stuttgart, around about nine months before uh, the program is starting. The reason simply is that uh, getting the visa and getting all the paperwork done requires some time. We might meet, maybe even move a little bit uh, earlier because we see that uh, the visa issue is getting more difficult uh, in every year. Um, so this is something you can check on the website. So what are you doing? You are applying through our portal in parallel, our admission board, the professors are starting to check your application. And uh, if uh, they think that you're qualified for the program, you theoretically could get uh, the seed offer as early as in January. Then you have to decide whether you want to accept the seat. If you want to accept the seat, a small fee has to be paid, 190 euros at the moment, which is covering up for the costs we have, which are not uh, paid by the country of Hessen. This process is running until the uh, 1st of uh, April, and uh, then uh, until the 1st of May, uh, usually everybody will have the admission letter. Uh, then it's time for your visa and travel preparations. We are supporting that by having a couple of online tutorials and uh, Q&A sessions uh, together with our student guides who are supporting you during that time uh, on the admission process, on housing and health insurance, enrollment, onboarding. So all these the things uh, are answered in a very interactive way. In September, we will have the mandatory pre-semester courses. So four weeks of courses, excursions, and uh, parties uh, to really get you well on board. And then somewhere at the beginning of October, the semester is starting. And then in the next semester break, we will have another round of uh, intercultural and technical trainings as an add-on. The cost, as I mentioned, the application is for free, uh, but once uh, you have decided uh, to accept the seed, we request a administrative fee of 190 euros. Um, the uh, housing services uh, are optional, so you don't have to take it, but we strongly recommend to take a, a room through our housing. The fee looks very high, but it's mainly covering up the first month's rent and the deposits. So most of this fee is directly going to the housing agency. Like most German universities, we don't have own housing capabilities. So we are only like kind of a, sorry, um, intermediate, uh, providing you a room. And then uh, once you know that you can come for sure, if you have uh, set up your visa and everything, you have to pay the final fee, which is uh, mainly uh, uh, covering the cost for the extra pre-semester courses and German classes we are offering. Once you are in our university, like in other, any other universities, uh, you have to pay a semester fee, which unfortunately in Hessen is a little bit more expensive than, uh, for example, in Regensburg. The main reason is the semester ticket, which is part of this fee and which allows you to travel all around Hessen. Well, as a summary, we consider ourselves to be a big international family and uh, we would be very happy to actually well, invite you to become a member of this university. This is a picture uh, which was uh, taken one year, no, two years ago. In the background, you can see like a construction site here, a brand new student building is uh, being set up with cafeterias and, and uh, uh, learning rooms and, and meeting rooms. So also the infrastructure at our university, like with most other universities, really is excellent. And yeah, I'd be happy if you would like to join our family. So here you can see the contact information. The slides will be provided to you. If you have any questions or would like to get any kind of additional information, please use this email address, both Sabine and myself are checking this uh, email address regularly once a day so that you can expect an answer as quickly as possible. All right, that's it from my side. So thank you very much for the presentation. And if you have any questions, please feel free.